everybody and welcome back to my channel. We went to the Dollar Tree. I feel like it's going to be shopping Sunday. Wouldn't that be sh share the shopping Sunday? Well, the first thing I want to tell you I got was this. <laughs> um, you guys have seen this lots of times before. I'm so sure, but I'm going to do something to it. So it'll look different, hopefully. Hopefully you haven't seen anybody do it before because I've not seen it before. But again, I don't watch everybody's YouTube channels. I'm learning more, though. You guys are teaching me about more people who are out there. Let's do this way. So I called around. I'm in St. Louis, or I was in St. Louis, and I called around to the five or six Dollar Trees that were around where Sue lives. And I said, do you guys have any autumn stuff out yet? Because I've seen people hauling autumn stuff. And they said, just florals. So I was like, that's okay. That's good enough. Oh my gosh. I don't think I've ever gotten into autumn florals this early to have such a great selection. So first I'll share with you, this is wheat. They had wheat in a different colors. I bought the kind of yellowy, natural looking wheat to me. Um, it comes with like seagrass and wheat. It's not really, it's not really onion grass, it's wheat, because wheat has that grass on it too. But, and then these leaves, feathers that are supposed to look like wheat leaves as they're aging. Love. So in love, mini pomegranates. I got them in purple. I love this purple. And I'm not a purple person, but that purple is just like, stunning to me and I got it in red and I just thought they were so cute and I know they're pomegranates but they kind of look like mini apples to me um well we know Chinese apples but I kind of feel like maybe we can do some cute DIYs with the apples um next thing is bittersweet I think that this was out last year I think I was looking for it all last year and didn't find it I picked up the yellow again this was in a lot of different colors so I picked up the yellow um, I got these, again, these dark purple blue, midnighty blue uh, hydrangea. I just thought they were gorgeous. I don't even know, like, how to describe. Um, but look how beautiful they look with those pomegranates. So I picked up a bunch of those. I know you're like, Jerry, these aren't your colors. Um, but they are now. Again, in that, it's sort of supposed to be kind of purple brown. Um, this is mini flowers with grass. That's all it's called. And it's funny because I don't really see any grass. I see leaves. Oh, there's like two things of grass. <laughs> but there's all these like mini flower. They look like weeds to me almost. So I was like, they're pretty. Um, I picked up these. They're Gerber or daisies. And they're in the burlap, which I don't. I didn't see last year. I feel like people hauled it and I was looking for it and just never found it. Um, they come only with four on a stem, which is different. So, you know, to save money because of the, the tariffs and stuff, they're reducing the sizes of the stuff they give us, but it's still much, much cheaper than it could be anywhere else. Um, I also picked up this mini flowers with grass, this one, and these are like, I don't know, I feel like they're cattailed, sort of, but they're not. They're kind of thinner and softer. But I just thought it'd be a really pretty accent piece. And again, there's more grass on here than there's on the other mini flower with grass. But this is what it's all about. And I only picked up two because I wanted to leave them for everybody else in the store. This is, okay. Let me tell you what it's called first in case you're looking for it. It's called Sunflower Bouquet. They also had it with chrysanthemums. But, of course, I love these giant sunflowers. These are bigger than their sunflowers that are on their regular bouquet. Um, they also had burlap sunflowers this year again, too, which was great. It comes with three sunflowers, one cattail with grass, one... I don't know. It's like a weed. <laughs> it's not really trying to be eucalyptus, but it kind of gives them that eucalyptus feel one berries like these mini berries with grass and the grass I love is because the grass looks old and dried out it doesn't look like the green onion grass it looks like old autumn grass and I picked up two of them and I made sure all the pieces were on all of the flowers because that's important and I don't blame Dollar Tree or anybody at Dollar Tree it's just sometimes when people shop and you if you've ever been shopping and you pulled out a flower and then all of a sudden you look down the ground there was like five or six petals you know it's not just the Dollar Tree it's what happens I picked up this butterfly net um, in the kids craft section I think I want to do something with the bamboo handle um, I have an idea but then I was thinking like they had round and um, 
like a rhombus, a rhombus square with rhombus, uh, so like a square except it's a short on this end and a long on this end. If you guys don't know geometry, it's called like a rhombus. Um, quadrilateral anyway but they had the two different shapes and I said round would be cute because we can actually use this as a heavy a heavy wire we could probably use for a wreath form or something along those lines it's not very big so that's what's nice it's not like the regular wreath forms I do love that the way they packed she packed this she actually asked me it's okay if I don't use any bags and I was like for sure I got this gray bucket uh, this came out I'm sure with all the gray stuff, but I didn't see this bucket. This is sort of woven like a garbage can looking thing. And I really like it um, for my office. Also in the gray with that was these baskets. And I love them because you get two for a dollar. And these are perfect for organizing in drawers or in my craft cubies. Um, and I love the little like punched look of them. And of course in the gray. They had the black and white handkerchiefs, and apparently I got three when I only thought I was getting two, but hey, I guess Jesus wanted me to get three. Oh, apparently I got four when I thought I only got two, so apparently Jesus wanted me to get four. I really swear I only grabbed two. <laughs> hey, maybe we can make that quilt now. <laughs> but I love the black and white. You know, I could use these all over my house because it's black and white. I picked up a new steering wheel cover. I get a new one about once a year. I feel like that's about how long it takes before the elastic gets shot. Um, so I'm gonna replace that now. Aunt Sue said, do you want to have an old fuzzy one? And I don't really like the fuzzy ones, real fuzzy. I like this, it's sort of a terry cloth, sort of absorbing, sweat absorbing thing. I don't know. First I wanna tell you that this Dollar Tree was freaking gorgeous. And I did take a small video of their picture frames. And here's why. If you go shopping at Dollar Trees and they're, the, the aisle that gets the worst is the picture frames. And then I feel like it's picture frames because I don't think anybody ever takes the time to actually organize picture frames in their stores. I know no offense to any Dollar Trees anywhere, but I feel like that's the, the section that gets l the least attention. Um, and this one was gorgeous, as you'll see in the end. But they had these where they were in the craft stuff, like with the wooden crafts, and they're wind chimes. So this is a butterfly wind chime kit. So like a DIY butterfly wind chime. And this was a birdhouse wind chime kit. And it's a wind chime. Like it's got wooden uh, metal pipes in there and it's got little metal pipes in there. And it gives you a little bit of paint to paint the wood pieces and the string to string the pieces together. I just thought that was super cute. Another thing I only bought one of, but I really bought two of. <laughs> no wonder my mask didn't come out right. Um, I got the wooden dowels. If you watch the DIY we did, the hanging planter, um, I couldn't find any wooden dowels from Dollar Tree in my house. So I ended up cutting down the Walmart ones, which I hate to do. The reason I got the Walmart ones is because they were longer. I hate to have to cut them down. Is there anything more to say other than it speaks for itself? It speaks for itself. <laughs> This is a notepad, and it says, For with God, nothing shall be impossible. Luke 1, 3, 7. And I know I'm not supposed to tell you this. My birthday is 7, 13, and I kind of feel like very... I feel like very numerological around it. Like, Sharon will call me if it's 7, 13 at night, and she'll be like, Oh, I just saw your birthday on the clock and was thinking about you. I'm like that, too. So, Luke 1, 37 is really... Any, any really 137, 13, 7, 713, 713, any like any of those are really impactful. Like I kind of feel like it's speaking to me, but this, hello, it's not speaking to me. It's hitting me over the head with a shovel just to understand it. I don't know why I've never seen these before and I feel like I might've actually bought them for Jimmy, but oh my goodness, how cute. And they're not gonna be for Jimmy this right here is the Christmas hat for my gnome. I'm just saying, telling you now if you want to go get one. So I picked up that. That's men's sock size 6, six to 12 and it's this beautiful uh, red and black buffalo check. I found the extra large um, absorbing junior back patches though um, Jim's spot is sometimes just concentrated so he uses the smaller shoulder one just in the concentrated spot but sometimes it's across his whole back and he really does recommend these they're inexpensive they're a dollar the the name brand ones are much more expensive and he feels like it's the same result so he likes these 
Oh my gosh, the sun is going down, hurry! You guys get so concerned for me when I'm in the dark talking a lot by myself. <laughs> um, have you ever seen um, plastic tablecloth wreaths? Well, if you have, hang on. If you haven't, I'm gonna make one, so you, if you wanna wait, otherwise they're all over YouTube. They make uh, take Dollar Tree plastic tablecloths and make wreaths out of them. But when I saw these, I was like, yeah. Let me turn it the right way. When I saw these, I was like, yeah. <laughs> I thought these would make a beautiful wreath. I picked up two. I was trying to load uh, Pinterest to find out how many you need for uh, like a 14 inch wreath form. But I figured worst case scenario is when I get home, if it says I needed more than two and I can't find them at my Dollar Tree, I will just go ahead and make a smaller wreath, that's all. But I just thought they were so adorable and I think it's gonna be a Thursday throwback comeback and I'll tell you the story when we go ahead and make it. I picked up rainbow tissue paper. Um, I'm doing a, um, a, D, a, a DIY with it. So um, I'll share that with you when it comes. Now, have you seen these? I'm sure you have. So these are all of these kitchen wall clings and I don't really know if they're for backsplash wall sticker. Foil backsplash wall sticker. And they come in all these four. They didn't have all these four. They had this one and this one. And this is the one that I got. But I just love this saying. And it was on some towels and stuff. I don't need towels and I don't need pot holders. But this is cute. I thought we could do something fun with it. Even if we cut up the words and use them in a DIY. I picked up three trays for DIYs. I picked up this one with the starfish but don't worry we'll diy it and it's a nice size i feel like it's 9 by 13. i picked up this long one don't worry we're gonna diy it and then i picked up this one in the like wedding party section the reason i did is because you might not find these anymore because it's like the end of the season but these are around in a lot of different dollar trees so i think i'm gonna do with the a diy with all three of them so stay tuned stay tuned um, Toffee Fay. Um, you only get three pieces in here, which is fine. Actually, that's better. But these were my mom's favorite, and I love them too. They're basically a, a hard caramel cup, kind of like a Werther's, made into a cup, filled with Nutella for all intents and purposes, and a hazelnut, and then covered with a disc of fudge. And when she would share them with us, we would like, I would, I, I can't speak for my sisters, but I would like eat the disc of fudge off and chew it. Then I would like take the hazelnut out and chew it. Like I would eat it in sections. So if you've never had this before, I highly recommend. Um, oh, I actually said you get four in there. Yay. Oh, even better. Now I can share. I'm not, I'm not repacking anything because I'm going to lose my light in a second. I just want to show you the last few things I got. I... I'm going to use this for a DIY. This is definitely a farmhouse background. I don't care what you say. So I got this great gift bag, not gift bag, a uh, recyclable shopping bag, tote bag is what it says. It's got just gray on the sides, but it's got this beautiful like ship lap in blues and grays and whites. I found the rooster. I actually had somebody message me that they found me the rooster and then they messaged me back a little while. I don't want to like out anybody. So and then he messaged me back a while, messaged me a while back and said, I never got your address. And I was like, oh, you really found it for me? I thought you were just telling me you found it. <laughs> but if you're watching, you don't have to send it to me because I found one. But if you send it to me, that's okay. I can use this for a DIY. And I picked up these two for DIY purposes. They're just the one that they had the most of. And they were light enough in color that I know I can paint over them. And they both say good night and they are gray background and they have a little sheep on there and a little moon. They are really cute though. I have to tell you, they're really cute. And the last one I got that I haven't seen, it says, this is the day the Lord shall made. Let us be joy, let us rejoice and be glad in it. Um, and this is Psalms 1, 18, 24, I think. But I can't really see it. I think that's what it says. So I picked that up. And the last few things that I got are like ribbons and stuff. So. I picked up two of the wire edge burlap in two inches. You still get nine feet, praise Jesus. I picked up three rolls of ribbon. I got two satin ribbon. No, I got one satin ribbon in black. And I got two grosgrain ribbon 
in orange and brown, which I thought fall's coming. It would be perfect. I know I don't have any. I got um, some more Baker's Twine in the I, I got it I got this one because I needed the blue as you remember and I think I I probably could use the red and white but I used the blue and white all of my blue and white for my stars and now I wanted to tell you about the full burlap ribbon real quick you get a lot less of it now it's also smaller I did leave my glasses right on top so I can help and did I leave them out no I thought I left them yeah here there It says it's two and a half inches wide and you only get two yards now. You used to get not you used to get three yards. You used to get nine feet. Now you get six feet. But I will tell you, as far as the natural one is concerned, if you've shopped the Dollar Tree for a long time and the natural edge burlap, it used to like fray. And the only ones that really didn't fray as much were ones that were painted colors. Well this, even though it looks natural colored, it's a little darker than the natural colored. Um, I think I should get home and compare them to you, but it's actually, you can tell it's actually painted or stiffened or, um, yeah, it feels like it's just painted. And together they looked amazing. And with the autumn coming, I'll know I'll use them. But I like the fact that they were not fraying. And that, my friends, is everything. So I hope you really enjoyed this haul. If you do, please give this video a thumbs up. If you have any questions at all, leave them in the comments down below. Don't forget to share this video with friends and family. Anybody who might be interested in seeing what supplies we got for DIYs and stuff. And if you haven't yet, click subscribe. And when you do, a little bell will pop up right here. When you ring that bell, YouTube will let you know whenever I upload a new video. And click all. So there's a new thing on the bell if you guys are new. Um, when you click the bell, it says customize all or none. And if you click all, it'll tell you when I upload all my videos, okay? So as always, you guys take care, God bless, and we'll see you next time.